how to connect google docs to anything hey everyone welcome back to the channel in today's step-by-step -step tutorial we are diving into how to connect google docs to anything the powerful workflow automation tool whether you are a business owner content creator or developer integrating google docs with anything can help you to automate document creation updates and management like pro before we begin make sure you have access to google account and then Google Cloud Console and OAuth Credential ID like Client ID and Client Secret. If you don't have a Client ID and Client Secret, I will show you how you can get that. Now, let's get started and we will create a simple workflow using that too. Now, first thing first, if you are using Cloud version, so what you can do is just simply click on this Google Docs and click on the Create, create Credential. Now, from here, you can see you have to have a Client ID and Cloud Secret. In order to do that, what you have to do is click on this uh, new tab, create new tab. And what you have to do is search for console .google, console Now we are going to create new project over here. So I'll click on the open project picker from here in the top and click on this new project. So I have made a lot of project over here. Give a name to your project like uh, Google Doc creation and then hit the create button. Now, as you can see here in the top in the notification bar, our project is being creating. Now we have, uh, as you can see, we have successfully created our project. Just simply select your project. Now it's time to uh, enable the API. Right now we are waving project Google creation. Now, as you can see here, we have open our project. You can just see that now from here you can manage your project if you want to jump to another project you can jump from here now let's move to next step which is enabling your apis in order to do that what you have to get go to is just simply click on these three lines from there you have to uh, go to apis and services click on this library button and as we did earlier you have to search for google docs and hit the enter button and seven results are appear in front of you choose the google api and from here click on this enable button now wait for a few seconds just to wait to enable the api service now we have successfully enabled our google docs api now the next step is to set up your oath consent screen click on this oath consent screen now from here you can set up and configure your oath consent screen click on the get started now you have to uh, in enter your app information like uh, app name is app one and enter your uh, user support email then click on this next now you have to choose your audience if you choose the internal so it will allow you to use only within your organization if you choose external, it will allow for the public who ever uses your account, it will use that too. Click on the next and from here you have to enter again your email address and click on the next and click on the finish and agree to the Google API services and click on the continue. Then after that, you have to click on the create button. Now, as you can see here, it is processing and we have successfully created our oath configuration. Now. What you have to do in the next step is to create both client. From there, you can get client ID and secret client. Click on the create both client to create that and search for web application and select the web application and change the name if you want. I will just set as a by default. Scroll down a little bit and you will get authorized redirect URL. So this is a very important thing. User will be redirected to whatever you put over here so in order to do that what you have to do is go back to your anaton and make sure you have like if you forget so what you can do just simply click on this google and click on this create new credential and choose a o3 direct url so just copy this so this is a redirect url and you have to paste over here so it will redirect the user to this path now you have to click on this create now 
click on this button wait for a few seconds and we get the client id just copy this client id and paste it into client id now click on this ok button now as you can see here in the client we got the client a client id now in order to get that a secret id just simply open this web uh, web application and in the right side you will get the additional information related to your web application now if you scroll down a little bit you get the client secret id just copy this id and paste into your annotant as you can see here client secret just spit it and now we get the sign in with the google now we get the option of that before that what you can do is you go into your audience and the status of publishing just click on this publish as and click on this confirm button so it will be available to any user with this google account so yeah let's move back to our annotant and sign in with the google account now as you can see here credential successfully has been created but we haven't uh, added our account so to the to that to do that just simply choose your account make sure your uh, console cloud account uh, is sim familiar same as you are using it click on this advance if you are facing this issue then choose go to anatin.cloud.unsafe now wait for a few seconds and give all access so i think i have mistakenly added uh, see added okay this is a google uh, docs so i don't need to worry about these two things so just simply click on this continue wait for a few seconds and as you can see here we have connected our uh, google documents with uh, anatin so yeah now this as you can see here it will ask you to uh, create so this is a document now you have to error fetching option from your document so let's uh, see how we can execute this so okay let's try to execute and see what kind of problem we are facing so there is an error so we will fix that later but yeah this is how you can connect uh, your google credential with uh, an attend now so that's it if you found this video helpful to you then subscribe to the channel and thank for watching